guys, Durham West and the Cougar Panthers? Yeah. The Olympic champion gave four hours of her time to meet with fans yesterday at Boyer Pickering. She was very grateful to meet everyone that came out to see her. They all get a chance to take pictures, get an autographed card, and even get their hands on that precious gold medal. How important was it for you to do something like this back in your hometown? I'm a uh, Pickering born and raised through and through and actually have returned, so uh, I love it and I'm glad to give back to my community who's been so supportive through kind of my whole process. I actually met my, one of my uh, grade school teachers here, so it was wicked. Uh, Jenna actually reached out to us. Uh, we are heavily involved in youth sports, uh, hockey, uh, boys and girls, and, and all, all youth sports. And she reached out to us and uh, said, is there any way we can uh, we can help her out? And, and uh, we came up with uh, with a vehicle for her to use uh, throughout her training period and uh, and obviously post-Olympics as well. So uh, she says it's been a great help and we're happy to do that for her. Wakefield played her junior hockey with the Durham West Lightning organization and so did Natalie Spooner and Tara Watchorn, two of her teammates with the Canadian champions. Yeah, I mean, uh, women's hockey is uh, really big in Ontario and uh, we are fortunate uh, with Fortunate enough with Durham West to be kind of a gold mine and having three kids on the Olympic team was incredible and um, I would probably wouldn't want to share it with anyone else so I was really happy for uh, Tara and uh, Natalie to be on the team.